The SQL Server Query Optimizer is a cost-based optimizer, and therefore the quality of the execution plans it generates are directly related to the accuracy of its cost estimates. During query optimization, SQL Server explores many plans, estimates their relative costs, and selects the most efficient one. In this lecture, we're going to talk about statistics and how they affect the decisions the optimizer makes. Statistics contain three main pieces of information, the histogram, the density information, and string statistics, all of which help with different parts of the, the cardinality estimation process. A cardinality estimate is the estimated number of records that will be returned by filtering, join predicates, or group by operators. Selectivity, another core concept and key term, is a concept similar to cardinality estimation, which can be described as the percentage of rows from an input that satisfy a predicate. For example, a highly selective predicate returns a small number of rows. Statistics are created in several ways. Automatically by the query optimizer. If the default option to automatically create statistics, the auto create statistics flag is on. Number two, when an index is created. Number three, when they are explicitly created. For example, use the create statistics statement. Just as an aside here, the statistics which are automatically generated by the query optimizer are always single column statistics. 